Algebra 1, number 3.9D, we're talking about proportions and proportion word problems. So let's do a little history real quick. Did you know that proportions have been around for a long time? Around 550 BC, Pythagoras, yep, the theorem guy, discovered that if one string on an instrument was twice the length of another, their sounds went well together. And now we call this musical interval an octave. And the measured length of the first string is not important, only that it's twice as long as the second one. Pythagoras and his students studied ratios. So that would work on a piano, wouldn't it? One piano string could be twice as long as another piano string, and the two sounds would go well together. So a proportion consists of two equivalent ratios. Two-thirds equals four-sixths. We can solve proportion word problems by putting the words into a proportional equation and solving for the assigned variable. Now, if you want to see the videos before this one, A, B, and C, there's going to be links in this video's description that's going to help you, okay, if you're lost with anything, all right? So if the sales tax on a $16 hat is $1.32, how much is the sales tax on a coat for $120? So we think, what are the proportions? Well, $16 is to $1.32 as $120 is to a variable. So we'll let t equal the tax on the $120 coat. So now we've got $16 is to $1.32 as $120 is to t, the tax. I'm going to write an equation using this proportion. So 16 over $1.32 is equal to 120 over t. We can solve this by cross multiplying to make an equivalent equation. We do 16 times t and $1.32 times 120. What we come up with is $1.32 times 120 equals 16t. See, this one is equal to this one. And all we have to do is multiply these two together. $1.32 times 120 is $168.40. And we've got 16t. Now, we can just divide both sides by this coefficient, 16. And I do. And $168.40 divided by 16 came out to 10.525. And because we're talking money, and there is no 0.525, there's no 52 and a half cents, I rounded it up to 53 cents, see? So the tax on the coat would be $10.53, see? You have to pay an extra half penny, wouldn't you? All right, so did you see how we did that? Let's try one more. If two bottles of juice cost the same price per ounce and a 16-ounce bottle costs $1.95, how many ounces would we get for $5.85? So we think, what are the proportions? We're going to let J equal the juice ounces. 16 ounces is to $1.95 as J is to $5.85. So now we write as a proportional equation. 16 is to $1.95 as J is to $5.85. And we're going to cross multiply. So this is 16 times 5.85 and this is 1.95 times J. That's our equation. And the 1.95J equals 93.60. We can clear these decimals off by multiplying both sides by 100. And that's going to move the decimal place over two spots, isn't it? 1, 2, and 1, 2. So now we've got 195J equals 9360. We can divide both sides by the 195, by this coefficient, and we do a little long division on the side. How many times can 195 go into 9360? With a little multiplication, we find out it's 48 times. So we'd get a 48 ounce bottle of juice for that 585, that $5.85, see? So we know it's 48 ounces. All right, now, we could have solved this by using the multiplication property of equality and multiplying both sides by the reciprocal of the coefficient 195. And after we got rid of the decimals on each side by multiplying by 100 on each side, we would be able to do the reciprocal of this 195 as 1 over 195. See, we flip it around. So we now have 195 over 195j. This cancels out as just the j, and when we do the 9360 over 
it would be, see, because it's over 1, it would be over 195. We could still do the same division and get our 48 and know that j equals 48. See? So we could have either used this method and multiplied by the reciprocal of this coefficient, 195, or we could have just divided each side by the coefficient. Okay? I kind of thought this was quicker. All right? But when we're dealing with fractions, we want to do this for sure because that's helpful because they're already in fraction form. All right? So that's proportional word problems. There's so many. And I have an entire playlist of algebra word problems, and there's a link to it in this description. Okay? It's about 80 videos in there, so it's every type. Rates, mixtures, everything. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.